lovelies. Welcome to class. How are you doing today? I guess you are doing great. Today's class promised to be an interesting one. And I believed you will enjoy it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's topic is Asian towns in Nigeria. Now we will be looking at Daurea, Goba, Ida, Ife, and Calabar. Stay back and enjoy yourselves. Daurea was an ancient settlement in Castina State in the northern Nigeria. I said Daurea was an ancient settlement in the Castina State in northern Nigeria. It was founded in the 9th century by a queen and ruled by women. It was also spiritual home of the Alsa people. I said Daurea was also the spiritual home of the Alsa people. In modern days, Daurea, the main item traded are millet, onions, peanuts, cotton and hide and skin. The cities, Hausa and Fulani inhabitants, keep cattle, goats, sheep, horses, and donkeys. Other important economic activities include cotton weaving and the export of pea nut. Go back ahead to mark and celebrate traditional Muslim festivals in Daurea. The Goba include a possession of us men dressed in colorful robes and turbans who pass through the city to the Emir Palace. The local musicians and traditional performers perform to honor the Emir. And the Daurea most common food, or common food rather for the Hausa people, prepared consists of greens. Say so their common food is consists of greens. Now we look at Goba. The city of Goba was one of the original seven kingdoms of Hausa land. It was founded in the 11th century. And the Hausa ruled it for 700 years. Akalawa was the capital city of Goba. Now, in 1774, Usmadan Fodio was invited to Goba to make the area his home after several clashes between Danfodio and the ruler of Goba, Kalawa was seized in 1801 and the state was absorbed into the Fulani Empire. Today, the town is located in the southern and eastern part of Niger. Now we go further to look at Ida. Ida is an ancient town located in the present-day Kogi state. Ida was the traditional capital of Igala Kingdom. It is also a local government area in Kogi state. Now, during the 19th century, Ida was a striving port, trading palm oil and carne robbers, cotton, weaving clothes, horses, pots, and knives. 
Today, palm products such as yam, cassava, rice, and fish are still traded in Ida. The local makes canoes, fishing nets, and soap, and the practice and cutting weaving. Say the practice and the craft and cutting weaving. Now we look at Ife. Ife is an ancient Yoruba city in the southern, in the southwestern region of Nigeria. Said Ife is an ancient Yoruba city in the southwestern region of Nigeria. The city is located in present-day Oshun State. Said the city of Ife is located in the present-day Oshun State. Ife was founded by Obala Obatala, who was ordered to do so by the Supreme God Olodumare. Ife then fall into the hands of Uduwudwa, who created the destiny in Ife. I said Ife was founded by Obatala, who was ordained to do so by the supreme god of Olodumare. Ife then fell into the hands of Ududuwa, who created the dust, a destiny, a dynasty in Ife. Descendants, descendants of this dynasty became the ruler of many kingdoms. Ife is considered the traditional birthplace of the Yoruba civilization and also become the chief religion center for certain tribes in Nigeria. The kingdom of Ife disappeared in the 16th century. Today, Ife is, a fam is famous for magnificent mental sculptures. See, today, Ife is famous for magnificent mental sculptures. It also houses the Natural History Museum of Nigeria. Ife is the best Ife is best known for his art. Their traditional food is Inya, which is pounded yam, amala, fufu, tuo, chinkafa with vegetable soup, igusi, bugiri, and oha. We look at Calabar. Calabar is the capital city of Cross River State in Nigeria. The city is also referred to as Calabari. In the 17th century, Calabar became the trading center for Europeans who came to the coast and Africans who were located further highland. Calabar serves as a major slave trading center after the abolishment of slave trade in the 19th century. Calabar economy became dependent on the export of palm oil and palm carne. Calabar is regarded as the tourism capital of Nigeria and is home to about 400,000 residents. What an interesting class. I hope you enjoyed it. Do well to attempt your quiz and assignment. Thank you for listening. I'll see you in our next class. Goodbye for now.